All right, so this is the overflow for the bio detention. I think it's about 10 by five. We gotta put some rip wrap rock in it. And what's gonna happen is, so normally if this bio detention is designed for a 100 year flood, if it's so-called over flood, it gets too much water, it'll come along here, which will be an eight inch pipe. And that will indeed, I mean, feed into there. It's like an overflow. So this is the eight inch pipe. We're gonna have a V64 right here, catch basin that catches any water that overflows. Right there you'll see, get in focus. Right there is the old pipe to pretty much the drainage on the right sand side of the house. So when we was making this hole, excavating for this hole, it broke, but that's probably the perfect place to break because that's going to feed right into the bio detention box here you have this four inch pipe here and these are all SDR 35s got a catch space in here you guys remember the 100 yard pour we did here I'll leave a link below it's about five or six parts to it but pretty much all the water from the back of that wall all comes this way and it feeds into, not these waddles, but feeds into this catch basin, overflows, comes out, and goes to the bio detention. Also, we have the retaining wall drain pipe here. Comes down, feeds into it, and it goes out as well. So again, pretty much all this water here, they're the bio detention uh, pipe, I guess you call it. <laughs> Lost my train of thought. So pretty much all the water here, I think from there to there is about 120 feet. It comes all the way down, hits that box. Part of this water comes down, hits that box, and it kind of starts tapering off and turning this corner from about here, here, and it goes straight down to this channel drain here. I'll leave a video. Well, I'm working on that video now. Well, before I get there, let me show you this. At this little ADU, we got all that drainage that's attached to the ADU. It comes down, hits here, solid pipe that goes to the channel drain, and we also have the perforated pipe. So those are two separate pipes. So probably about right here, they connect to one pipe and that goes across this channel drain. And this is where all that water comes down from the top up there. Kind of comes down, hit this channel drain here. It's a small little V that's from here, from the uh, asphalt to here, and from the driveway to here. So it kind of hits here comes along here we're going to put another catch basin box here and then right here is our six inch pipe this is the main pipe here so you guys can see that oh this is SDR 35 got the water line and we also got the gas on here so we're going to come across and this is going to take you all the way down to the uh bio detention that's what we have this is about excuse me about 20 by 20 so definitely want to give a shout out to Thai landscape I think they're out of Minnesota I hope I got that right they do a bunch of these up there and I kind of saw the video and it kind of just clicked with me oh, oh this is how it's gonna go I look at that as a big drain box or a dry well or a big catch basin but since we're in Cali, we gotta get a pretty name, which is a bio detention. So we're now in front of the house. We got a solid SDR 35 going straight through here. And we're gonna tie the downspouts into this one. This pipe is gonna go to another bio detention on the other side of the house. So that's what we have. 
and all the downspouts. This is gonna carry pretty much all the water to the other side of the house. This pipe ends here, but it's gonna come here. We're gonna make a saw cut in asphalt. It's gonna come all the way here. And it's gonna come here, come out here, and go straight down pretty much. Right where that wood starts, it's gonna be 45 feet long. I think five feet wide, it's gonna be another bio detention, catch basin, whatever you wanna call it. So, continue to check us out. All our information down below for San Francisco Bay Area, Sacramento area, hit us up. Here's that deck that they're doing now. I'll leave some links down below showing the uh, foundation that we put in. And also here's the kitchen there. Uh, expansion here i'll leave some more links showing you the foundation of that appreciate you guys remember it's cool to ask for help hang around people that's positive and if you wake up with good intentions everything's gonna be all right All right, guys, I want to jump in here real quick and let you know this is supposed to be two videos. I ended up making it one video. The first part is kind of explaining what we're doing here, which is installing the bio detention here. So this bio detention is pretty much going to capture all the runoff on the driveway. And that's a hundred yard pour. I'll leave a link down below of the driveway into this. So the water comes into this, soaks into the earth. If it's a hundred year flood or a hundred year rainfall, which this was designed for, that water will in, come up into the chambers and, and uh, you know, discharge in the back into a smaller bio detention. So I just wanted to jump in here. I know I know only started out with an intro, some B-roll here, so I just got right into it. But sit back, relax, check us out, putting this together. It's, uh, it's pretty straightforward. Um, it looked bigger on paper, but once we got to doing everything, it kind of worked itself out. So I do have another video. You see some pictures of us doing another one on the other side of the house. So if you guys have any questions, any comments, leave those down below. Remember, it's cool to ask for help. Hang around people that's positive. And if you wake up with good intentions, everything's going to be all right. We've got a bunch of drone shots. So check it out. Hit the like button, share all that YouTube algorithm stuff. Close to 19,000. I'm probably going to hit that about the second week of May. But if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel, definitely appreciate it if you do. And we can get it by the first week of May. Appreciate you guys. Check it out. Any questions, again, leave down below. Right, guys so we use about 20 25 uh yards of this drain rock here once we get the drain rock installed we're gonna um burrito wrap this and use a special soil that goes on top of here it's about 18 inches of that soil so that's probably another 20 yards of specialized soil now what that soil does is it collects the water from the from the driveway um it the water will come out through the six inch pipe and through this four inch pipe it will so-called come into that dirt that dirt will so-called filter and clean it from any chemicals from the driveway california again and it will go down to the bottom of the drain rock which these chambers sit on about six inches of gravel it will go down kind of go into the earth if it's a big hundred yard flood or a hundred yard rainfall that will come up fill in the chambers and then it would discharge in the back for overflow. 
I doubt I'll forget that 100 yard flood in my lifetime, but my son is out there with me, so maybe it'll happen in his lifetime and they can call him back. Appreciate you guys. Again, any questions, any comments, leave those down below. Continue to check out the video to the end. Share the video, like the video, comment on the video. Appreciate you guys.